Hi guys, sorry we had to pause the video for a second there because I did something a bit wrong. I like hooked the next few over without laying the next bands out. It was really easy to resolve because I just hooked them back from where they come from. But yeah, try not to do that and be silly like me. Now I'm just going to carry on one over. The next two over. Yeah, it would be really nice if you commented on this video and subscribe to our channel if you're new. We'll, we usually upload videos like every weekend. But now as it's the summer holidays, you might be doing them a little more frequently, which should be a good thing. Okay, next colours. Yeah, we might be starting a Malumia Instagram channel. We haven't we're not we haven't actually done it yet. So we're not quite sure, you know, whether we can. But yeah, that that's an idea. So comment if you want us to have an Instagram channel where we'll post pictures on, you know, our videos and stuff we've made and then you can go and, you know, say if you want us to make any of them. Yeah, just to make it a bit more exciting for everybody. Okay. Yeah, when, I still, when me and Beth started this channel, we decided we wanted to get 25 subscribers. And last time I checked, we were on 17, so I guess we're getting there, slowly. But yeah, subscribe and like our videos as well, well, if you like them, you know. We also want feedback about what are your honest you like better, you know, what well, camera angles, you know, oh, it's just pinged that band. You know, any suggestions or anything, please let us know. Just keep going. So you just do the same thing over and over again. And then as you can see, it's kind of beginning to form here. And it just grows slowly. What I think about this thing is, you can always just keep it on your loom and then come back to it at any point. So are you, I'm not that sad that I would just like sit here and do it for a whole evening or something, you know. Usually I like take this to school, I'll do some in the mornings when I'm going to school. Then like some at break and lunch and then some on the train and then on the way back. And I've usually finished it by then. So yeah, what I'm probably going to do then is pause the video and come back when I've finished it. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that now. I'll see you a bit later. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. And as you can see, I've done this in the time I've been away. So yeah, you you just carry on doing what I've shown you and it will eventually turn out like this. As you can see, you can do it lots of different sizes, like this one, or like the other one I saw at the beginning. One second. Like this one. So you do it any size you want. I've tried to make more of a hook cover as to a pencil grip. But what I'm going to show you now is how much you to put your pencil hook in it. You know, how, how does that actually work? Okay, all you're going to do is, I'm going to use a pencil for this. Because I personally quite like my hook without a cover. You get it. And you push it up. You need to be quite strong. Obviously it's easier with a shorter one. Well, I mean, it's not impossible, you know. You'll be able to do it. Just move it about a bit, you know. And basically just pull, push that and pull the pencil so it goes the whole way up your thing. Yeah, this is usually the moment when you wish you hadn't done such a long one. Let's just keep going. I'm nearly there. <laughs> This can be really easy or really tricky, depending on how tightly you did your design, how tight your bands, you know, everything. Okay, mine is nearly at the top. There we are. Sorry if this is a bit difficult to see on video. Okay, there it is at the top. Have it so it's about like this. As you can see, towards the end, I kind of like ran out of bands a bit, so I just started using all dark pink ones. But that doesn't really matter that much. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to hook all the bands on, each, on this peg. Where is that? Yeah, we've got them all. We get all the bands, 
and we move them over the pencil. The one annoying thing about this is it's a bit hard to take off. So if you change your mind, you say, I don't know, you want to put on a pen instead or something. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> so yeah, so I guess you can kind of just tie them all together, like with a slip knot or something. But that is a, can be quite fiddly, so do that if you want. But I am usually quite content of just keeping on the same pencil, pen or hook. Yes, yeah, so you lift all those pens over. I know I'm doing them all at once. But remember, you can always do them one at a time if you're a bit new to this. So, yeah, whatever you feel comfortable with. The main thing is just you get all those bands over. As this is what stops the entire thing from unravelling. We've now got the last one. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You know, it's been quite easy to follow. It is a really straightforward design, so... There we are. It's practically finished. But now what we need to do is just like adjust it a bit. So let's pull everything down a bit. And with pencils, obviously you don't have this issue with pens or hooks. But with pencils, if you sh as you sharpen it, you will need to pull the, the things back a bit. Now what do you see? It is now finished. But I think I'm going to do what I've done here, which is twist them all so it looks quite cool. All you do is just twist the entire thing and do you see it gives this epic kind of like stripe effect? There we are. It is now complete. Hope you've enjoyed this design. Hi guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's been quite simple for you. See, I now have uh, so many pencil grips I don't know what to do with. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. I really, I really like hearing comments. Only the nice ones, by the way, you know, don't just go and insult us or me doing this video yeah so keep watching subscribe i know i've said that already and yeah come back for more loom bands